Good morning, folks. It's September 10, 2023. I'm back uh, on the Osage Arm of Truman Lake. I'm on the upper end. We'll see if I can catch a few crappie today. It's gonna be a beautiful day. Uh, light and variable winds. It's in the upper 50s right now. It's supposed to get into the 80s. Fall is in the air. Let's see if we can catch a few fish. Stay with me. A little steak bed right there is what that is. Sitting right on top of it. Yeah, there's fish in there. There we go. There's a fish in a steak bed. Now I'll tell you folks, I've worked my way all the way from the mouth to the back of this thing, and I've caught two or three little fish. This one's not very big, but it's a keeper. It's the first decent fish I've seen. It's in a steak bed. The report is they've been in the bed, so I may have to just focus on those. We'll keep a few. I got a new scale too, one of these Bubba Pro scales. I've never used it, so I'm gonna weigh a few fish just to try to figure this thing out. Read the instructions last night. All right, clear. It's going to be a whopper. 11 ounces. Ooh. Boy, that's a dandy. 11 ounces. It's long enough. All right, 11 ounces. That equates to 0 0.66. Change my unit of measurement. I like that better than actual ounces. There's a big old steak bed. Beauty of that is it's in shallow enough water I can get right up to it, put the power poles in the mud and just sit on it. If I can get around the stump. All right, let's put the poles all the way in the mud. Yep. Now, where's the old steak bed right there? I don't know if there's that much, if anything, but it'd be nice if there's one on the bottom down there, but I think that's the weight. Come through it up higher. Looks like there's something down there on the bottom. Flitting around, little bitty fishes, little bitty fishes, something come off the bottom, yeah he did too, he was laying right on the bottom of that, you see that in the mud you couldn't even hardly see him, that's a little better fish, that's a keeper, just using a one eighth ounce pink head, a living the dream purple and chartreuse. I just love that color on this lake. All right, let's see if I can use my old scale here. Figure it out. Okay, I guess I gotta hit the center button, turn it on, hit clear. I put me a mouth strap on here like I do all my others. All right, 0.71. All right. Steak beds. See if there's another one laying on there that I can't see. Come up off the bottom. You can see some activity down there. Yep, 
Oh man, yeah, they're laying, I mean, they've got their belly on the bottom. See that, they're, they're just kind of, you can see a little movement, a little flash. That's those fish down there. All right. Man, the beauty of being in seven and a half foot of water, having the power poles down, just sitting here. All right, now I'm just gonna kind of hold it up there. I know there's fish right there. Yep, look at there. <laughs> you can't even see them in the stakes, laying right on the bottom. There you go. They're eating the little living the dream. Purple and chartreuse. Let's see if there's another one hiding. I think there is. Just holding it. Yep, come up and kissed it. I don't want you to fall in love with me. I want you to eat it. Come on, sweetie. my jig oh look at him come off the bottom and chase it up think there's not fish down there must be right behind one of those stakes I can't there it is. jig going down come on Ooh, hey, come up, messed with it, probably too little. Let's drop a little, little bitty hair jig in there. Just see what happens. Hate to be fishing for fish so small, you gotta drop a little bitty bait in there. But sometimes even the big fish want just a little bitty bait. I don't expect there's a big fish in there, but we'll see how they react to this. It's just a Mike Friend, little 164th ounce purple and chartreuse. Again, the colors I like. Got it with a little split shot above it. And then a quarter ounce weight above that. Let's see. See how they react to this. We're just experimenting. Come on. I know you're there. They don't act like they like that as well as the living the dream, but I may have already caught all the fish big enough to eat out of there. Oh, look at him. He came up, nibbled on it, went right back down in there. Come on. I could be just about a foot closer, but we'll be all right. Had to 
mistakes. Yep, yep. <laughs> Come off the bottom, boy, they're all little. But they're keepers. Come here, come here. Yep. All right, boy, he's barely a keeper. Let's measure him and see. Where's my yellow measuring deal? There it is. I think I better keep that out the way this day's going. Well, he's nine and a quarter. Okay. I'll keep some fish for my secretary. I guess I should say my assistant. All right. They eat the little hair jig too. I guess I aggravated them enough to make them bite it. Those fish, they'll swim in and out of those beds too. more down there you can see them swimming I bet they're little bitty fish okay let's move on I didn't know that bed was there I just happened to see it I'm gonna go back to the living the dream if they'll bite that I'll use it I am going to mark this bed. Power pole up. Let's move on closer and we'll put a little mark right on the old graph. Get right over. I hit mark twice. I'm going to put it in blue and that's my stake bed mark okay I appreciate whoever's put those in I think that's another stake bed isn't it there is it looks kind of like it to me See if there's anything laying on the bottom here. A lot of stuff in here, a lot of natural stuff, and then there's this steak bed. Again, I don't see much in it, but maybe they're in the mud. Looks like there could be some movement down in there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he hit it. <laughs> they are in the stake beds, folks. And they're on the bottom. Yeah. Look at this. I don't know if you can see. I'm going to show you. You see all that mud? Look. Look at there. I mean, they're literally in the mud. I 
whopping 0.71. Boy, if we were in a tournament, we'd be in dead last. But I'm not tournament fishing today. I'm fun fishing. Trying out my new scale and keeping a few. Oh, it's just fun to catch them no matter what size they are. All right, buddy. You might be nine inches, but I'm not keeping you. Nope. Go in there and tell Grandma I slapped you in the face. Tell her to come on out. We'll talk about it. Come on, come off that bottom. All right, there's some more movement in there, but I've had enough. Let's see if we can find us another one. Power pole up. There's another stake bed. I thought there might be one right there. You know why? Because there's a big tall tree right there. And back in the day before live scope, people would put stake beds around these tall trees because they could find them. So, a little tip on Truman, if you're messing around, looking for stake beds, look for big tall trees in a group. Alright, power pole down. The lake's really low right now, so these stake beds, you'd think, why is somebody putting them in five feet of water? Well, they'll be a little deeper than that normal pool. fish in there. I can just tell it, yeah, followed me up a little bit. 4.9 feet of water. Yup, gosh, dang it! 4.9 feet of water. Water temperature 77.2. Truman Lake crappie like shallow water. That felt like a pretty good fish. Never saw it, but they're coming up out of the mud. See them kind of dart around in there. My jig's right there at the 10 foot mark. Let's go out just a little bit. Oh, <laughs> boom. I love it when they bite on my little jig. I like it better when they bite on it and suck it in their mouth. <laughs> A cantankerous one in there. Hit it again. Must be little bitty ones. Although that first one whacked me pretty good. You see them swimming in there. Working my jig through there. All right, let's go. All right. Down to three foot of water. I'm gonna turn around and go somewhere else. Oh, not what I want. 
get hurry up I'm back in there fish look like yes yes see how he was hidden down in there a little bitty one had gotten it and now this one yeah that's, that's the best one we've caught today all right he ate the little bitty hair jig i mean he got it way down in there too well Let's see what it weighs. One nineteen. We won't keep him. Let him go. Oh, gave him a headache. Sorry about that, buddy. Of course, I did let him live. I guess I get some credit for that. There he comes. Yeah, finally caught one up higher. <laughs> I mean, about everything I've caught been in the mud or right near the bottom. Finally got one up a little higher on a tree like normal what do you know a normal fish the winds at my back i get in here where i'm going i got some stake beds back in here i'm gonna turn around and face into the wind if these are on enough water it's the question i think they'll be all right Shallow water hadn't bothered these fish today. Boat position. Got to have boat position. If you want to catch these six inch fish out of the mud, you got to have boat position. Come on, come out of that mud and eat my little jig. I know that mud's good and cool. It's hard to leave a good cool spot. But I need one more fish. Okay, that's gonna do it for me, folks. It's uh, 12, 12.30. I'm going to the house. I need one more fish for a limit and I can't catch it and I quit. I'm done, I've had enough. But uh, I'm not even gonna show you those that I have caught. You saw a few, they all look just like that. Certainly nothing to brag about. But uh, it's interesting, most of them are in real shallow water on uh, stake beds with their belly in the mud. That's how I caught most of them. Caught uh, one or two up higher on a tree, but most of them were down shallow. That's where they like it, in the mud, today anyway. Who knows about tomorrow? But I had fun anyways, beautiful day. Caught a few fish. My secretary's gonna have to eat light because these fish are pretty thin, but I'll take them anyway. Thanks for being with me. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, I hope you'll hit the subscribe, the like, the bell, do all those things. Thanks for being with me. I'll see you the next time.